Hey everyone, and welcome to this new video. In this video, I would like to introduce you to a project that unites all your smart home services in one. This means you essentially get an overview of all your smart home services and also have the opportunity to make everything really, really stylish with a lot of integrations. More after the intro. Enjoy. This is about the Homer project. I have already created a small detail on the demo dashboard to show you a bit of what is possible with it. Below, I have linked three different home services of mine. First, there's Home Assistant itself, then I've included AdGuard and my Plex server. Here, you would see which user is currently playing what on Plex. I could integrate a camera up here, but I don't have one at the moment, so you don't see any image here. Then I have an overview from my AdGuard here, showing how many domains are listed, how many queries were made today, and how many of those were blocked. Here I have integrated another small project called Dash. Here I see an overview of my smart home, including the CPU usage, RAM usage, network connection, and the remaining storage space of the server on which this is running. Additionally, I have installed a PC switch here via Home Assistant and can see whether it is currently on or off. Lastly, I have the current time and the Tokyo time here to show how it looks. Everything can of course be configured as desired and I will also show you how it all works. Up here is a search bar that lists all the services for me. So if I simply search for Home Assistant here, it will be suggested to me right away. I could press enter and would then land in my Home Assistant dashboard. It would be the same down here. When I press the Home Assistant button, my Home Assistant overview page opens up here. But before we set everything up, we obviously need to install it first. It's super easy. I have linked the compose file below in the video description. You just need to run it once on your server. Of course, it can also be installed as a regular Docker container. To do this, and this is just a simplified explanation, I created this Docker Compose file, entered Docker Compose up DD, and then it should automatically run on the port. To set everything up, simply go to edit mode here, and then you can easily move these tiles back and forth by drag and drop. You can create a category using this button here with add a tile. This means that you essentially group several services together on the dashboard. You can create apps here, which can either be completely custom defined. So for example, if I now, if I wanted to add Google, I could simply do that by specifying the URL here, once an internal address and once an external address. Then I could set what happens, whether the whole thing should be opened in a new tab or directly overwrite the current tab here. I can make network settings here. This means, as you can already see down here, there is a green dot next to Home Assistant. This means that Homer automatically checks whether Home Assistant is currently reachable or not and indicates that right here at this point, I can set which status messages are considered successful and which are considered errors. And of course, I can also set a logo here. It automatically tries to find a logo. However, I can also simply enter something myself. And if the logo doesn't fit, I can specify my own logo here via a URL. Then I can set whether the status should be displayed, whether the title should be displayed, and so on and so forth. I can still change the position, the size, and so on and so forth. And finally, there is also the integration tab. These are very special applications that have a connection to the Homer project and with which it is then possible to, for example, to display my own data in Homer directly using the API key from Home Assistant, for example, as I just did with the PC switch. You configure the connection here to, for example, Home Assistant, and then you can select the corresponding Home Assistant widget through the Widgets tab, add it to the dashboard, and then I have the entity from Home Assistant directly here. Of course, I can also edit it and specify my own entity ID here. It also shows how I get them, and then I can see the status directly displayed in Homer. Back to my Google button that I built here. I can now move it here in this position, but of course I can also change the size below it. I can simply move this right next to Plex now, and after I have saved and exited the mode, I can just open Google in a new tab with one click or alternatively type Google in the search bar up here, find mine directly here, press enter, and then I have called up Google. It is also possible to set the language and choose which search engine I want to use when searching the web. And also the logo, the title, and all the colors can be completely customized here in the settings. So you can really create your own smart home overview from this which you can then use directly in your web browser. For this, there is a handy plugin for Firefox, which I will link to you below in the video description. This is called Custom Nuke Tab Page, and here you can set which page should open when you create a new tab. 
In my case, I have already specified Homer here. So whenever I open a new tab, the Homer page automatically opens. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, feel free to show it to me with a rating. And then I would say, see you next week for a new video. Until then, take care and goodbye.